Hey y'all, Sean in town here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make $800 in four hours delivering lost luggage. Let's go. Now there's this guy named Travis. He's been delivering lost luggage that's been separated from travelers. He's been doing this since 2017. He doesn't work for any airline, but he does work for a company that he's contracted with. I'll let you know about the company a little bit later, but here's how he found this gig. So back in 2017, he Googled driver delivery jobs. This job came up and ever since, He's been crushing it. Now, Travis is actually a teacher. This is pretty much what he does on the side. And in one week, he made $800 working only four hours in that week. Did y'all actually comprehend what I just said? This man worked four hours in a week, made $800 returning luggages to travelers. So here's how it works. When the travelers' luggages are lost, the airlines try getting those luggages back to those travelers in a timely manner. So what they'll do is they'll store the luggages in a storage warehouse and outsource the luggages to a delivery company. The company gets the traveler's information, the driver chooses the addresses in his area, and then the company assigns the luggages to the drivers. The driver then goes and pick up the assigned bags. The delivery driver then loads their vehicle in order of delivery addresses and starts from the farthest point first and then make their way back home. Now, some stops will require for the driver to drop off more than one luggage. Now, here's a video of Travis picking out his luggages, loading up his SUV, and delivering. Now, I actually took out the sound because he had music playing. Uh, he was actually speaking, but he also had music playing, and you know, I didn't wanna get hit with any uh, copyright you know, claim on YouTube, so I took out the music pretty much uh, and replaced it with this music that you're hearing in the background. So there he is uh, delivering the uh, luggages to this house. Now he's on another delivery. Coming up the stairs. As you can see, some of these luggages are, are pretty weighty, all right? It has some weight to it. Now let's talk tip. Do people actually tip? Now, based on Travis's experiences, people actually tip. However, not everyone tips. Here's a video of Travis receiving tips. All right, let's watch this video. All right, so here's a video of him receiving a tip. Uh, and like I said, because of a copyright claim, I had to pretty much extract uh, the music and his voice and add my own background to it. Here's uh, another stop he did. And here comes the tip. Here comes that. Boom. There you go with the 10 piece. All right, Travis, I see you. There you go. Thank you. And like I said, based on his experiences, some people do tip, some people don't. Now, I know some people may comment asking what type of vehicle can be used. You can use a car, you can use an SUV. Actually, Travis is using an SUV. You can use a cargo van. Now, as far as a box truck, I'm no financial advisor, nor am I a financial coach. But what I will say is this, right? Only if it makes financial sense to you. All right, I can't make those decisions for you. I'm not telling anybody to go get a box truck and you know get into this, but you gotta make sure first that it makes financial sense for you. Now the company he's working for, it's called Express Bags. I'm gonna drop the link to the article in the description. I'm also gonna pin the link to that article at the top of the comment section. Now Rody does it as well, but I'm not even gonna recommend Rody because ever since they were acquired by UPS, They've been just trash when it comes to the payout. Outside of that, please do not drop any comments in the comment section asking me if it works in your city or you know if there's a company in your city. I don't know, I don't live there. You gotta do your own personal due diligence to find out just like Travis did, you know, look, at, look it up on YouTube and came across this company. All right, so do your own personal due diligence and you know, figure out if there's a company like that that's working in your city and get on with them. As far as airports, 
there's um there's an airport in almost every city in the United States. Now, if you're watching from overseas outside of the United States, you can do it in your local city, you know, or even any city that's closest to you with an airport. If you need more information, I dropped the link to the article in the description below. I also pinned the link to the article at the top of the comment section. One last thing, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm about to open up this community on Discord. I don't want you to miss out on any exclusive information that I'm gonna be dropping in there. And another thing is hit that like button because anytime you hit that like button, my videos get out into the recommendations so more people like you can see uh, this video and watch it, get some value as well. Lastly, hit that notification bell, y'all. See, the thing is uh, with creators, uh, YouTube does not send out our videos to 100% of our subscribers, right? So uh, whenever you hit that notification bell, that's saying, hey, I want to be notified whenever Sean drop new content. All right, so hit that notification bell so you can, you know, uh, get that notification whenever I'm dropping fire content like this. As usual, God bless. See you in the next video. Peace.